Hello there, boys and girls. Today our topic is whole numbers, and at the end of today's lesson, you should be able to solve problems involving quantitative reasoning, and also give the place value and the value of a digit in a given whole number. Now, in part one of our lesson on whole numbers, we learned how to count in millions and billions using the method of skip counting. Whole numbers are quite relevant in our day-to-day -day activities, such as knowing how much money we have with us, and also the numbers of items we carry on a daily basis. So, how do whole numbers help us in our daily activities? Well, to answer that question, we need to display quantitative reasoning ability. So, what does that mean? You may ask. Well, it means to add, subtract, divide. And multiply numbers in a reasonable pattern. Now take a look at this example. Count to 30 million using the skip counting method. This example shows that to get the number in box C, we have to add 10 million to the number in box B, and in the same way, to get the number in box A, we have to subtract the number in box B from the number in box C. What determines the pattern here? is the arrangement of arrows and simple addition and subtraction skills. Now let's also take a look at this example. Counting by millions to fill in the blanks in the table. To fill the table up, we need to add 1 million to the previous number in the sequence. Now it's that understood. Very good. Now let's look at place value. In a given whole number, every digit in the whole number has a place value. Do you remember place value? Well, place value helps us to understand the value of each digit according to its position in the number. Take a look at the example. In 13,548, 1 is in 10,000 place and its place value is 10,000. 3 is in the thousands place, and its value is 3000. 5 is in the hundreds place, and its place value is 500. 4 is in tens place, and its place value is 40. 8 is in units or ones place, and its place value is 8. So how do you determine the place value of figures up to 9 digits? Single digit whole numbers start from 0 to 9. And in the place value system, they are called units. Add another column after 9 items to show value of 2 digit numbers. For 3 digit numbers, we add another column called hundreds. 4 digit numbers attract another column called thousand. 5 digit numbers attract another column called tens of thousand. For six-digit numbers, we add another column called hundreds of thousands. Seven-digit numbers attract another column called millions. And for the ten-digit numbers, it's called billions. Now take a look at this example. 6,254,248. What is the place value of the underlying digit? The place value of 6 is million. We have now come to the end of this lesson. Today, we learned that using whole numbers in our daily activities requires addition, subtraction, multiplication and division of whole numbers in a reasonable pattern. Also, we learned that place value tells us the value of a digit in a whole number according to its position. I hope by now you can solve your daily activities with whole numbers. See you next time. Bye.